Town of East Haven is reeling this morning. Four police officers arrested yesterday. That federal investigation found that the cops targeted some in the Latino community there, illegally detained them, and even went so far to threaten fellow officers and other witnesses who tried to report them. News 8's Allie Reed is live in East Haven this morning with more. Good morning, Allie. Good morning, Ann and Chris. The big question this morning is what's next? Are there more arrests to follow? In the indictment, there is mention of a co-conspirator number one. The government won't mention who that is because this is still an active investigation, but more arrests could possibly follow. Yesterday, one East Haven sergeant and three officers were arrested. Three of them are now on home confinement. Charges in the indictment include unreasonable search and seizures and use of unreasonable force fabricating police reports and intimidating and harassing members of East Haven's Latino community and their advocates. When news of the arrest spread, some members of the city's Latino community started speaking out about their experiences with some of the accused officers. I'm just with him, so maybe one day he stopped because maybe he thinks I doesn't have the driver license or something like that. I'm asking why you stopped me. He never asked me ask the questions. That's surprising to me because the ones I have ran into, you know, really no issues, you know, yeah. you know, no issues, no issues in the school, stuff like this. Later today, the Connecticut Civil Rights Coalition will be holding a press conference to discuss this investigation. They'll also be calling for an urgent need for reform across the state. Reporting live in East Haven, Allie Reed, News 8. Ali, thank you. This morning, many eyebrows are being raised about comments that Mayor Joe Maturo made in response to this investigation. Maturo is pledging his support for, for the police department and says that the town of East Haven, well, they welcome everyone. Yet, when asked about how he plans to show his support for Latinos, just listen to what he told a reporter from a TV station in New York. What are you doing for the Latino community today? I might have tacos when I go home. I'm not quite sure yet. Hmm. The mayor did later apologize for those comments, saying they were taken out of context. In fact, he went on to say that he might eat spaghetti and meatballs because he's Italian. Be sure to stay tuned to News 8 and WTNH.com for the very latest on these arrests of these East Haven police officers and continuing coverage of the investigation.